Hey everyone, Mick with Regen EVs here. Here's the origin story of the new project. I had completed a Subaru engine conversion on this 76 bus and had to deliver it from Colorado to California. While visiting family in Monterey, I found this 71 Fastback on Craigslist for 200 bucks. I was already needing to buy a car to drive back to Durango, but I really wanted this Fastback too. Now the adventure was taking shape, as I would need transportation that could tow. I ended up getting this Tahoe for a thousand bucks and rigged up a flat tow setup to get it home. I picked this guy up in California, near where I'm from, near Monterey. It has so many wonderful relics. Look at all this. It had been sitting under an oak tree for, I don't know, a couple years at least. And, oh, look at all that. Interior, yeah. This is a perfect candidate. I would not want to try and restore this thing. It's got some cool patina though. I really like that. So, no engine on this guy, which is perfect. I do want to pull the trans, but It's like a pretty wonderful engine bay. Coming up to the front. My original intent was to throw a TDO4 turbocharger on a EJ series engine or a WRX engine, something along those lines. But I'm switching plans. So Obviously you can't smell what's going on here, but it has that really old gasoline smell that it's just super sweet smelling back here. My first job is just gonna be to clean it up a little and then I'm gonna strip out the interior. Now time to figure out how to get these seats out. If they're anything like other VWs, I think they'll just slide out. So this side of the of the rail just came off. So that was probably holding it up. This little clasp was causing an issue so I couldn't get out. Now I know how it works. Man, look at all this remnants of glass from that window breaking. Oh yeah, battery box area, nice, there we go, it's mostly stripped. I'm going to pull it into the bay and start uh, yanking the trans. This is pretty typical of these uh, axle bolts here they're just full of grime so you got to spend a little time kind of working them out because you definitely don't want these to strip should be pretty free so now I'm going to undo the front nose bolts here and 
should be able to pull it out. Okay, should be good with the strap for up top. So I should just pivot and hopefully not kill me. Heavy, but not that heavy. Hopefully. <laughs> Don't kill me. I should have just lowered it. But I don't want to. I want to try this. Not bad. So far. There it is. Sweet. Aha. Look at all that space. Then it sat for months while I rebuilt a Tesla Model S for my wife. Look at this beauty. Holy smokes. This is going to be fun. Now let's pull the fast leaf back to the shop. Just pulled the 1971 uh, fastback back to the shop. It had been absent from the shop for, I don't know, three or four months now. And Tesla pulled it over, getting ready to convert this guy to electric. I'm just pulling all of the bits and bobs off of the chassis to make for a blank slate. front left wheel well we've got another charcoal canister I'm impressed this car had two charcoal canisters and these are an attempt to um, filter the gasoline vapor from preventing and, and prevent it from going into the atmosphere so that's, that's kind of impressive I mean, 50 years old it may may not be doing its job anymore but Get it out of here. Connect the fuel pump from the chassis first. This is on for this part because when I start cutting these lines, who knows what's going to come out. Look. Nothing on that one. Hopefully everything is totally dried up. Sweet. Looking good. This stuff touch you. It will be with you forever. Take out this gasoline filler neck. I have to use a, a ease out. It's basically like if you know a bolt is stripped or super rusty because rusty
a gas can lid or something. <laughs> Boy, I bet that slowed things down. It's dripping real gently now, so, and I'm tired of smelling the fumes. So, out comes the fuel tank. There we go, fuel tank out, and we have a little better access to master cylinder, steering linkages, etc. This interior is ready to be stripped now. I'm going to take out the gear shift, the parking brake, seatbelt stuff, and then pedal assembly and evaluate wiring. I think that's all coming out as well as this heater box or HVAC box that's got to come out so I may end up I don't know pulling the majority of this stuff I mean a lot of the stuff needs to be rebuilt anyway if I decide to use it so let's get started getting out the seatbelt anchors shift mechanism Emergency brake. And pedal assembly with throttle and clutch cables. Probably going to be pulling out the steering equipment, but we'll see. Thanks for watching. Now that I have a bit of a blank canvas, I can start to form a plan for mounting battery, which I think is going to be the hardest part. Catch you in the next video.